What's up guys? We got this Evo on Reddit. It's from a customer of ours that had a total loss fire in his shop. He lost, the customer lost a lot of personal belongings, a lot of things he can't get back. And so when we first saw the, this Evo, we kind of wanted to help the customer, but after we looked at it more, we we're also curious if it would even work. So what we went ahead and did is we contacted the customer and we built him this replacement Evo identical to his and he's agreed to let us ship him this one. We're gonna keep his burned up Evo and try to find out if it will run. So I'm gonna go put at least one round into it and we're gonna find out what happens to an Evo after a total loss fire. Let's go check it out. Real quick before we go here, I kind of want to give you guys another look at what we're working with. The, the grip on this gun's pretty melted. The brace obviously melted off of it. The, it looks like an M bus sight on the back. Looks kind of like molten aluminum maybe on that side. Um, the upper receiver is pretty torched. The optic didn't fare so well. Um, it is literally hollow and the electronics are burned out of it. Uh, front sight, you can still, you can't tell on this side it's an MBUS, but it's it's a melted, melted shut. Um, the previous owner did mention there was a M-lock accessory on the front. He didn't say what, but that's what's left of it. The, the uh, hand stop looks like it made it. So it's definitely in rough shape and it smells like it's in rough shape. It smells like fire. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if it's gonna run. The, the bolt does move back. And the, the trigger is about the grittiest trigger I've ever felt. But I, I'm, the magazine, magazine goes in. So let's go ahead and see if it'll shoot. Bolt shuts, that's good. Here we go. Shot and looks like it chambered it. Uh, looks like it chambered the next round. So that's good. And there it's all in one piece. Let's do a couple more. Bolt locks back and magazine comes out. So I guess if you have an Evo in a warehouse or shop fire, it's still good. So we just got back to our shop with this guy and kind of surprised. <laughs> um, I think we all had a few different theories. Um, receivers breaking, maybe the the mass and the energy of the bolt coming out the back of the receiver, um, the magazine falling out after the first shot, um, the hammer not resetting or trigger group not resetting just due to crap in the lower. The, I guess I wasn't wearing a face shield on my bet um, that the, we'd have a pressure issue inside the barrel. The, we didn't show it, but the barrel was extremely corroded, um, like full of, corrosion and fire debris it wasn't blocked um you could still you could see light through the barrel but it was extremely corroded so i kind of thought we might see a pressure issue with the first round but 
we didn't, um, we kind of watched the high speed footage. You can see a big, larger puff of carbon on the first shot, but after that it seemed to clear out and run fine. So over the years we have destroyed <laughs> a number of Evos. Um, we're in an 07 FFL, so we can destroy serial numbers. And I think that's what's next for this guy. We don't, didn't really have a plan. We thought something would happen, but nothing has happened. So we're gonna open it up to comments and suggestions below, I guess. If anyone has an idea of how they wanna see this gun go, let us know. Um, we're gonna call this phase one of this, of this particular firearm and let phase two happen as you guys wanna see it. So again, leave comments down below. Let us know what you wanna see happen to the Evo. Thank you guys for watching.